This could quite possibly be about the 30th attempt of trying to film this. Started last night, I'm still battling it, but you guys need the truth, and I'm not giving up till it's brought. This is Daz's Hot Comic Book Alerts, episode 114, and this is a special, and you know I love those specials. And this is my Hulu special. Yeah, I'm going to be bringing you a ton of info about an upcoming adult animated universe. Because you know the score, everybody has to by now. News waits for no man. What have I got for you? Let's get into it. Ton of good information coming your way. Hulu has formed a new partnership with Marvel Television to create five new adult-oriented animated series based on Marvel characters, according to Parade. The series will be comprised of Howard the Duck, Hitmonkey, Modoc and the Dazzler and Tigress show, with a fifth series titled The Offenders, bringing characters from all four series together. And of the five shows, only Howard the Duck has a creative team attached, with filmmaker and comic book writer Kevin Smith and Aqua Teen Hunger Force co-creator Dave Willis, reportedly developing the series. Now, normally, guys, I don't expect too much on the animated side of things, but this being an adult animated series, I think it's got potential. And by checking eBay, that's been confirmed. A lot of these books are starting to fly. Believe it. Howard the Duck is described as the story of an extraterrestrial waterfowl and his adventures to get home. Parade describes Moldock as an egomaniacal supervillain with a really big head and a really little body who struggles to maintain control of his evil organisation and his demanding family. Hitmonkey tells a tale of a wronged Japanese snow monkey mentored by the ghost of an American assassin. And finally, The Dazzler and Tigra Show is a story about two woke superheroes and best friends, Tigra and Dazzler, as they fight for recognition among powered people who make up the 8 million stories in Los Angeles. Don't usually get both sides, you know, um, an X-Men character in with the main stream, so that's interesting. In comic books, in the comic books, the team name The Offenders was used by a group of supervillains who opposed the original comic book Defenders. Marvel's head of television, Jeff Loeb, who serves as an executive producer on all four shows, co-created The Offenders. No premiere dates for any of the four series were announced. Let's delve a little deeper. That's what I do. New official details of Marvel's television series is... Uh, uh, and Hulu's partnership to create five adult animated series have been confirmed, including the creators behind each show. And here's an image to pass on to you guys. Yeah, that's your team coming. Pretty funny looking lineup. As previously, previously reported, filmmaker and comic book writer Kevin Smith and Aqua Teen Hunger Force co creator Dave Willis would take on Howard the Duck, whose official description reads Trapped in a world he never made. America's favourite fighting foul, Howard the Duck, hopes to return home with the help of his unstoppable gal pal, Beverly, before the evil Dr. Bong can turn him into the crispiest dish on the menu. Meanwhile, writers Josh Gordon and Will Speck will tackle Hitmonkey, which is described as follows. Marvel's Hitmonkey tells the tale of a wronged Japanese snow monkey mentored by the ghost of an American assassin as he cuts a wide swath through the Tokyo underworld in this darkly cinematic and brutally funny revenge saga. Then The Dazzler and Tiger Show will be written by Eric Rivonia and Chelsea Handler. Here's the official description in Marvel's Tiger and Dazzler Show. Two woke superheroes and best friends Tiger and Dazzler fight for recognition among powered people who make up the 8 million stories in Los Angeles. Jordan Bloom and Patton Oswalt will mo develop MODOK. MODOK was uh, once voted... Marvel's worst ever villain, quality, which carries a description. In Marvel's MODOK, MODOK, an egomaniacal supervillain with a really big head and a really little body, struggles to maintain control of his evil organisation and his demanding family. And finally, Marvel's television's Jeff Loeb will executive produce the Offenders, which brings characters from all four shows together. A giant head, a monkey, a tiger lady and a disco queen. And the duck brought together because no one else could but Marvel Television on Hulu. 
said Lewip in a statement. Modoc, Hitmonkey, Tiger and Dazzler and the Howard the Duck will form a team no one asked for. The Offenders. And wait until you see who the team leader is. We have such tremendous talent bringing amazing adult animation that's fun, fresh and fantastic. We're ex so excited for what's to come. No projected release dates, as I've mentioned previous. So we've got a lot of key books to look out for, guys. And we're going to start with a character who needs no introduction. And that, of course, is Howard the Duck. And his first appearance is in a, some Bronze Age goodness. Adventure Interfere, issue 19. The first Howard the Duck. You can get a solid copy for 50. 75 to 100, you're getting a nice, a pretty nice book. So, as I talked about that show, I also mentioned Beverly, his gal pal. Now, I've just read a book where this gal pal, Beverly, is dating Howard the Duck. Yeah, that's probably always I don't. <laughs> but uh, Beverly first appears in this book. Of course, Howard the Duck, issue one. Again, Bronze Age goodness. And again, a book I passed on for about £3 once because I collected solely DC. I'm still beating myself up a little bit. Now, the villain of the piece is a book that I've just read because I own it. And Dr. Bong is going to be the villain in the Howard the Duck animated show. And Dr. Bong, here he is, first appears in Howard the Duck issue 15. Such a bizarre read, guys. And Dr. Bong is Lester Verde. So, we move on to the first appearance of Hit Monkey, a book that is now very much on my radar. I know there's a lot of Deadpool fans out there, so this is exciting. The first appearance of Hit Monkey is from 2010, a modern age book, and it is issue 19. Here we go, guys. The first appearance of Hit Monkey is in this book. Get out there and try and find it. I know I will be. Up next, we have Marvel's worst ever villain. And that, guys, is Modoc. Now, Modoc first appeared in a cameo. Well, they say it's his cameo, but I don't think he even appears. It's just his voice. Tales of Suspense, 93, from 1967, guys, is the book. But the money book and the first full appearance of Modoc is a book I own. This is... Tales of Suspense, issue 94. Mine's mid-grade. I paid about 10 quid for it. To get this book, you're going to pay around about 25 for a solid copy. Okay? It's also the first appearance of his Doomsday char Chair. Now, Modoc is George Torrington. Okay? He was talked about being in the MCU at one point. So, either way, it's a nice book to get. Some nice Silver, uh, silver Age goodness there. And then we move on to the final... Final uh, team up show, and that is Dazzler and Tigra. Now, I have I own the first origin of Tigra, which is a nice key. But the first appearance of the character who plays Tigra, uh, a car uh, character by the name of Greer, I think, first appears as the cat in Beware the Claws of the Cat. More Bronze Age goodness, and that book, guys. It's from 1972. She then goes on from the cat to become Tigra in this book. From 1974. And that is Giant Size Creatures. Issue number one. The first appearance of Tigra. And then finally, I'm going to give you a little bit of info. I talked about the offenders. That is the, the, the final series. Now, I've been looking online. These books are flying. Trust me. The Offenders, to settle a bet with the Grand Master, the Collector teamed up Red Hulk with Tiger Shark, Baron Mordo and Terax against Hulk, Namor, Doctor Strange and Silver Surfer. Eager for revenge on his counterpart, Red Hulk agreed to take part in the fight, dubbing his team the Offenders. So that was the original Offenders. But the book, the first appearance of the Offenders is Burning Hulk. Here's the regular cover. Hulk issue 10 from 2009. 
If you don't believe me, guys, check this out. The first appearance of the Offenders. There is a variant cover for that, guys. This is your book to be on the lookout for. That's your variant. And then finally, I picked up the more sought after one. And that was, I paid £3.99 for this. I think it's a one in 10. It's an Eric Ed McGuinness cover. And that's the book I've just purchased last night. £3.99. I think it, like I said, it's a one in 10. So there you have it, guys. We are getting a Howard the Duck. We are getting a Modoc. We are getting a Hit Monkey. We're getting a Dazzler and Tiger show, and we're getting the Offenders. Five adult shows coming very soon. Get out there, guys. Some of these books I reckon you can find cheap still. Good luck. Daz over and out. Bye for now.